from the Spirit Clinic for taking a graduation. All right, so I um, I know you said you're not very loud, so throw your voice to I'll the camera. I'll try my best to talk really loud. I'm going to give you the stage. Okay, thank you. So the perfect storm that led to my CRPS included years of bad compensations from six surgeries, MTBIs, EDS issues with my jaw, ribs, and hips, and IC. 2020 COVID left me with chronic intestinal issues, intense head burning and fog. And the second round of COVID added burning hip and hand pain. So I tried dry needling and my CRPS spread like wildfire. I went from isolated areas of burning pain to what felt like head to toe lightning shocks, electrified stabs and fiery acid. I had no appetite. I could only work a handful of hours per week. The things I once loved to do, like watch my boys at their sports games, now felt like pure jolting torture to my nervous system. Most days, I couldn't even do the simplest of my beloved mom jobs, like making my boys breakfast. Doctors had me on multiple meds, did x-rays, MRIs, nerve studies, endless blood work that all came back normal and only made my constant burning, swelling, and fox much worse. My brain and body were in constant crisis mode. Thankfully, God took over my Spiro. Sorry, took over my Google. <laughs> and Spiro popped up. Thank you, Anna, who made me feel confident that I was going to be heard and helped. Waiting room friends, I'm not going to leave. You truly became family. It's so comforting and reassuring to be surrounded by people who completely get it. I've learned so much from each of you. I'm grateful that God put us in each other's path. Okay, so on my first day, not even five minutes into my first neuro, Katie says, tell me about your head traumas. I know you've had one by the way you smile. Noticing these details shows me that this place is different. Thank you, Katie. I don't know where you are. For my start here, and bless you for handling my daily pre set rolling tear stress response every day. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. K for creating a clinic that looks for details because they often make up a big part of our cases. Joy, thank you for reminding me of record setting 17 lift treatments. Jenna, thank you for the descents and your positivity radiates to all. Colleen and Amanda, how you gracefully manage everything you do amazes me. Cam, you're so knowledgeable, yet yeah, you're so good. You never know what's going to happen in cold labor. It's the best kind of weird in that room. <laughs> Thank you for helping my brain, for all the descents, for the thoughtfully planned music flashbacks to the 90s and early 2000s. Dr. Lauren, thank you for the little release you do by my ears after you finish Vegas Nerve. Dr. B, how you're able to remember where you left off with every patient here is just mind-boggling to me. Thank you for always being ready ideas to troubleshoot. Dr. Lucas, coming here I never dreamed my chronic bladder pain that I've had since age four would go away after one treatment with you. Thank you for teaching me pain can be a blessing. As it's a warning signal, there's homework to be done. <laughs> and after walking the stairs in NMR you handcrafted without nails, I'm convinced you are definitely a wizard. <laughs> this brings me to NMR team. One morning, Katie comes up to me. She stops. She says, so, you're gonna be with Bryce today. There must have been a look of sheer terror on my face. <laughs> she quickly said, don't worry, he's a big teddy bear. Just talk about his chickens and his cats. <laughs> Bryce, Maggie, and Bianca, thank you for making me feel safe, for constantly pushing me, for cranking it up. When I catch myself compensating, I'll forever correct and recover with hips, heels, and hamstrings. Thank you for giving me so much of myself back. I definitely wouldn't be in this spot without you. To my parents, Tom and Glenna, you're the reason this is possible. Happy 72nd birthday, Mimi. To Landon, Stacy, Nathan, Rachel, Charlotte, thank you for the TLC. To my church family and friends back home in Hayes, America, you have to be from Hayes to get that. Thank you for praying for me. I can feel your prayers. God is the reason I've been holding zeros the last week and a half, and that I'm this close to remission and reading this spell. To 
to my husband, Eric. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for being patient with me. You're truly pure heart and hustle every day, all day through this, and I love you. And to my sweet boys, Ben, Brady, and Boston, thank you for being so understanding and responsible. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to be home with you. And yes, don't worry, I'll be able to cook you breakfast. Did you guys want to say anything? Stacy had a great attitude. You know, she um, she was kind of stuck for a little bit there, and she got a little depressed. You know, but. We talked about that today. She said, after I started feeling better, the depression was because of my pain. So, you know, once we started getting that down, you know, her attitude was a great attitude to come in there with every day. She she gave it her all, even though she cried and laughed through it all at the same time. You know, she always had, uh, she always wanted me, she never wanted me to turn it down. Should I turn it down? No. Should I turn it down? No. Should I turn it down? No. And that that's what got her here today. I always preach about attitude. Stacy had the attitude it takes to ring the bell. It's good to see you smiling more. Uh, you were talking about the first day when I asked you about your head trauma. And that first smile that I saw was actually, you told me that that never happened. And then your mm -hmm. mom told us both the story about how your head put a dent in the dashboard when you were a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you were looking at me like, what? <laughs> But it's clear to everyone that you're feeling so much better, and it's good to see that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank you. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> 